Hi, I'm going to play a few of my mouthpieces. I'm not going to do anything technical, mostly show the response up and down the range and the tone. What I did is I started out with one of my favorites, which is a Phobes uh, San Francisco AP facing, which is uh, about a um, 1.93 millimeter. Um, let me look it up at 0.076 inches. And uh, I have a, uh, a new read on it, a, a Legier uh, European cut two and a half, which is kind of my favorite right now. This is a Rovner light ligature. C and I went all the way up to a high F um, and this was my favorite setup for years so I set out to copy it just for the challenge of it and I made a number of prototypes I even uh, made a silicone core I tried to get the interior correct and I came up with something that I think is really close except I went with uh, o-rings and um, this is a red one for my Rutgers alma mater or for the holidays It might be a tad brighter, but the response uh, intonation is uh, pretty much right on. I also designed a different kind of a, a beak profile, which I find a little more comfortable. It's uh, flatter near the tip and more curved back here, but your lips, you know, only take, take uh, a portion of that in, in your embouchure. Center this up. Okay, I start like on the other one, I started on the low F, so I'll do the same here. for several months. I'm really pleased with it. Um, so I'm calling that my fave, F-A-V-E design. Like I said, it's, it's a pretty good copy of the internals of the Phobes. Um, and I have that in black. Let me try one of these. There's minor differences from model to model either either the baffle or the facing will have a little slight differences but so if anything I came up with a facing that I think probably makes the higher notes come out even easier. I put a little more resistance in the curve uh, across here. Here's another another black one that um, you know I've been trying different O-ring fits, so the grooves were a little bigger on this one. I have several O-ring sizes, so I can actually adjust these to uh, uh, fine tune the fit for some some clarinets. plastic called PLA on, on a, my 3D printer and um, they're all hand finished by me and that's really where the uh, uh, the essential part of the job is you got to spend a couple hours and uh, know what you're doing on facings to, to make a 3D mouthpiece play really well. Sios does a pretty good job without any um, uh, 
hand finishing, but um, you know they've been trying to trying to perfect that for a while. Now this is an interesting variation. Um, I took the same basic design, but I tried to make it tune uh, flatter so that you'd have to push it in more. And I'm thinking of Yamahas. Uh, the, their, their necks are almost always pulled out three-eighths of an inch or so. If you've ever played Yamaha or sat next to somebody who did. So I uh, took out the taper in the backbore and made the body, I forget, a little longer, one or two millimeters longer. And get this read on. To me, this sounds and plays identical to the others, even though the backboard taper has been changed. Uh, so I don't think that's that critical. Um, and I can't push in enough. Right now, I'm about an eighth of an inch out. I'll push this in, but it needs to go in, in even another eighth of an inch. So. Um, I need to find some Yamaha players to test this. So I think that's a pretty exciting uh, offering. And um, you know, if you're interested in that, that's something else I can provide. Or if that's too much, I can adjust the backboard to be somewhere in the, in the middle.